Hi, I'm Dirk, and today I have for you the Bengal JS2. It's a watch. It's a smartwatch. And it has some pretty unique features compared to other smartwatches. Let's see. First, let's do a little unboxing. The Bengal JS2 is delivered in a small box, and that box contains the short version of a short introduction, some stickers, the watch strap, a charging cable, and, of course, the watch itself. The watch strap has to be connected to the watch first, but that's fairly simple. The charging cable, by the way, holds magnetically to the back of the watch and can be attached to any USB charger. Now, the Bengal JS2 is ready to start. Talking about the watch strap, that one is easy to customize because the Bengal JS2 has a standard connector. Any watch strap with 20mm connector width fits. I bought this one and it's very nice. The hardware of the Bengal JS2 is as one expects it these days. It has a color display with 176 by 176 pixels and it's a touch display. There is a tiny motor for haptic alerts. There are 256 kilobyte of main memory and 9 megabyte of flash. That doesn't sound that much, but it's quite enough for this kind of device. And it has lots of sensors. There is a GPS receiver, an accelerometer, a barometer, a temperature probe, a magnetic field sensor and even a pulse monitor. And there are two features which are definitely above average. First, the display is never blanked. It only switches the backlight off if the watch thinks that it isn't watched in the moment. That means that you can always read the time on your watch, which actually is the main reason for having a watch anyway, but it's not the case for many smartwatches even these days. And the second, the battery lasts quite long. Four weeks, says the documentation. I wouldn't sign this, but at least seven to ten days seem to be no problem. And that's quite longer as with many other smartwatches. The general usage is quite simple. There is only one button, it opens the program launcher and from there you can start programs or access the settings of the programs. Everything is operated with swipe and touch gestures. It's fairly simple. Now, what's so special about the Bengal JS2? Well, it does not use one of the usual operating system suspects such as Android or iOS. Instead, it is based on Esprino. On what? Well, its core, it's a JavaScript interpreter optimized for microcontrollers. It is under development since 2012. The head behind it is Gordon Williams from Great Britain, and he has already released a number of hardware devices with the system. Many of the Esperino projects have been crowdfunded on, f on Kickstarter, BengalJS being the newest one of them. Of course, BengalJS 2 allows to upload programs and that's extraordinarily simple. All you need is the app loader and that's a simple website. You open it on a device with Bluetooth interface, any laptop, tablet or even smartphone fits and in a browser which supports web Bluetooth. Currently these are Chrome, Edge and Opera. The browser connects the watch, the app loader uploads the app and the app is immediately available. It's really that simple. There is another difference to other smartwatch systems. Esprino, and therefore the whole Bengal JS2 system environment, is an open source ecosystem. That means all source codes are publicly available. The app loader even features a button with each app, which links directly to the source code of that app, for you to watch, to learn and to enhance. Because there is another thing which is also very simple on the Bengal 2 JS and that's writing your own apps. There is a simple but functional development environment which runs directly in the web browser and which also connects via web Bluetooth. And there you can more or less just start typing and writing your programs. When you think you are finished, you can upload them into the watch and there they are executed immediately. The development environment even features an emulator which allows you to develop without continuous access to the hardware watch. When you're finished, you can pack your app and put it into your own instance of the app loader. That one has all features of the official one, even the emulator. 
and if your program meets the quality requirements, it can even be integrated into the official app collection. I became aware of the Kickstarter campaign for the Bengal.js 2 in autumn of 2021, just in time to pledge for the project. In December 2021, I got my Bengal.js 2 and I use it as my everyday watch since then. Overall, I'm very pleased with it. I mean, one cannot deny that it is a rather young project. The applications are quite simple in the moment and so is the integration with the smartphone systems. And for the international audience, without English you are stuck. All important information, the support channels, the discussion forums and almost any apps are only available in English at the moment. But it's a very promising system and it's a nerdy playground. I don't know if there is any other smartwatch system which allows active development that easy and that open. I highly doubt it. And even for the non-nerds among us, this is a smartwatch which simply works. It lets you watch the time anytime and it is not in need of constant recharging. So now you might ask, where do I get one? Well, as I said, the Bengal.js 2 was a Kickstarter project and that's finished now. All watches from the campaign have been delivered. New watches are currently produced and should become available within the first quarter of 2022, so says the webshop. There you will be able to buy one. In the meantime, register yourself and you will be informed via email when ordering is possible. And so we come to the end of my first video about the Bengal JS2. Well, actually it's my second because I did a very similar one already in German. What do you think? Is this an interesting product? Do you want to hear more? Please let me know in the comments. I always like to hear from you. So far and thanks for watching. Hi, I'm Dirk, and today.